So here's something you probably didn't know about fasting is it has a huge influence on your circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythm is basically what dictates your sleep and wake cycles. So it dictates the quality of your sleep, right? And it's kind of crazy how you can actually use fasting, intermittent fasting, to help to regulate and dictate your sleep times and schedule basically. What do I mean by that? So for me, for example, let's say I wanna really like make sure I can get up early in the morning with like a lot of energy. Um, I know for a fact, if I set my, my eating window at a certain time where it, it ends at a certain time and my fasting window begins, so let's say that's 6 p.m. Let's say I stop eating at 6 p.m. and my fasting begins at 6 p.m. I will get to bed earlier because nobody likes to go to bed hungry. Um, it might take a couple days to adapt, but then you wake up in the morning full of energy because you do have that like actual like hunger and like kind of the most primal motivation that you can have, which is hunger. Um, and that can help to regulate your sleep cycles and make sure that you're getting up on time, going, going to bed at the same time. Because when you eat is a huge aspect of your circadian clock that people just kind of don't really understand. And that's why actually, if you fast for like 16 to 24 hours, it actually resets your whole clock. So like if you're traveling and you fast for like, you know, 24 hours, that's how I do it. You don't have any jet lag because your, your body, it's a clock, right? So when you're, you're used to eating at a certain time, so your body pumps out these hormones at a certain time in anticipation of you eating, but you don't eat and then it's shock, kind of shocks the system and kind of hits like a reset button, which in turn affects your sleep. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking to get a grip on your sleep schedule, intermittent fasting will help you so much because you can, again, you can dictate when you sleep basically by setting a time when you stop eating and setting a time when you start eating. And it literally just kind of naturally happens. You'll, you'll start to naturally get more tired early, earlier, and you'll wake up more full of energy with like adrenaline and the right hormones um, in the morning because you're going to be, you know, you're going to start to feel hungry and whatnot. And then that's when you can go kill your workout, fast for a little bit longer, break your fast, eat, end your fast, sleep, and you get into this nice, healthy rhythm um, that intermittent fasting really helps you to establish. I wish I knew this. This is all stuff that I wish somebody told me. Um, but fasting is not just like, you're not just starving yourself. You're not, that's not what's happening. That's not why you're burning fat. And that's not why your body's clinging on a muscle. And that's not why you're cognitively sharper. I guess it, it is why, but it's not the only reason why. It, what, what really is the key here is the hormones. You're regulating your hormones. You're optimizing your hormones by following this kind of schedule of eating and forcing yourself to be in a longer period without food in your system, which will thus force you to be fat adapted. Your body will have no choice but to burn fat as fuel. That's it.